Hey, this is the size. This, and you'll have to excuse the black screen because I'm, I'm not really. Well, tell you the truth, I'm in the middle of moving, and I'm still. I got all my stuff all thrown out, and hopefully by the end of this week I'll be in my new place. But anyways, I was gonna make this video, but I got a little sidetracked with Cipher Sun, and Cipher Sun did a pr really good reply video, and I suggest everybody. Uh, go watch that video he puts down a lot of good points as well as I think you should subscribe to him but he did lay out a lot of good points uh, anyways uh, m the question here er, as you know came from Chris Polero should flash be on I iPhone iPod touch and iPad I guess and f well to get some things out of the way first of all flash is buggy and Flash is incredibly buggy on both Macs and PCs. Yes, Mac, I mean, Windows has more support than the Macs, but that's not besides the point. Um, it's still buggy. It has a lot of security errors, and it does fuck up uh, browsers, and but uh, and all this other shit. And also noticing there's also Silverlight which developers hate and it's developed by Microsoft and then there's Java which is developed by Sun and well it's not really it's which half of YouTube is YouTube's a hybrid between Java and Flash but anyways now with the new implementation of HTML5 which is supposed to take the place of Java Flash and Quicksilver it may look like the end for Adobe Flash on a superiority on the internet but with all that said should the iPhone ha should have had or should have flash support in my honest opinion I would have to say yes they should have put it in there even though it's buggy even though it's a security risk even though it's unreliable as hell Apple should have put it on there regardless and the main reason is because of the customers and that's where the customer base is and that's basically what Mr. Bit would say is where the developers are I know Mr. Bit who's another YouTuber says you know basically goes with the developers and I go with the customers basically but that's where the customers and the developers both are right now and there was flash and internet uh, flash materials but that's just the way it goes you know it's like that one scene on the robocop movie where that one guy said basically who cares if it works or not who cares if it ends people's lives just as long as it works and unfortunately that's the way it is with flash it really doesn't really matter if it works or not just as long as it works who cares if it's a security risk just as long as the device i mean just as long as Flash works and everybody's buying it like hotcakes. That's simple. That's where the customers is. That's where the developers is. And so forth. And right now I'm just repeating myself.